It's like walking on an infinite giant trampoline. Uh, you weigh only one sixth your weight, even with the spacesuit on and the backpack. I only weighed 61 pounds on the moon. Houston, you can tell America that Challenger is a Taurus Litro. We'll do it. We'd like to dedicate the first steps of Apollo 17 to all those who made it possible. The decision was made to substitute me for uh, the, a crewman on the Apollo 17 mission. It, uh, it meant that we finally had uh, a scientifically trained and a field trained geologist on the moon and I think demonstrated that that's what we ought to do in the future. It, uh, it really was a, an interesting time just to be there. Now of course you're busy, you're doing all sorts of things that you plan to do, but you absorb all of that in the back of your mind uh, for later reflection. Your realization of what you're doing keeps you focused on the job that has to be done. Once it's over, then you think about what you actually have accomplished and, uh, and what these 450,000 Americans accomplished in making it all happen. Now, my mass was the same. It was uh, uh, 370 pounds of mass, uh, but the weight that you had to carry around was much less, and indeed the suit supported most of that weight because it was pressurized. It was like being in a flexible suit of armor, if you will, uh, that it was carrying that kind of, uh, of mass. Oh, I'm on a porch. Who said this place was smooth? It was absolutely fantastic to be on this giant trampoline. And what I found is that having learned cross-country skiing when I was a student in Norway, that the best way to travel and to run across that surface was as if you were a cross-country skier gliding just above the surface, rather than, of course, and not on it, uh, and using a toe push to accelerate. I also have uh, learned so much more about my profession, and particularly about the history of the Earth, the origin of life here on Earth, uh, all of these things that have come scientifically out of the programs. If you want to go to Mars, and I think most people eventually want to do that, you have an awful lot to learn. And the best place to learn that is on the moon and in the, around the moon, because it's only three days away, and Mars can be as much as nine months away. And you don't want to learn some of these lessons nine months after you uh, have left the Earth. You want to make sure you understand, again, understand how to manage the risk of going to Mars by undertaking these kinds of efforts on the moon. You landed in a crater. Hey, Jack, don't lock it. I'm not gonna lock it. We gotta, we gotta go back there. You lose the key and we're in trouble. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.